There's no doubt that NCIS has created a mass audience that follows the show religiously. However, no matter how big a show is, eventually, it has to deal with the biggest challenge of retaining key actors after all those years. It's not possible to keep the entire cast together after so many years, considering the commitments every actor has, and we saw the same happening with NCIS. First up, why David McCallum's ducky hardly appears now. For NCIS, the first major departure of a crew member was the lead character, Leroy Jethro Gibbs portrayed by the brilliant Mark Harmon, who stepped down this year, and fans were devastated by the news. While fans and cast members get adjusted to NCIS without Gibbs, another shock might be in store for them. There are rumors that Gibbs might not be the only casualty of NCIS this year, as David McCallum's role becomes a little less significant with every passing episode, putting doubts over his long-term future with NCIS. Donald Ducky Mallard's one of the best characters that's been around on the show for a very long time. The former medical examiner was a key part of all the investigations carried out by Gibbs' team, and after his retirement, he took the newfound position of NCIS historian. However, as the show progresses, Ducky's screen time has become more and more sporadic, and it almost feels like we're being pushed towards a slow farewell. Since he took on the role of the NCIS historian, it was obvious that his screen time would become limited, and he won't be a regular cast member that appears in every episode. The character played by David McCallum revealed, after his role change in the show, that he was delighted with the role change and wanted it to happen. This is understandable because appearing in fewer episodes can help him spend more time with his family. He explained that the limited schedule helps him free up his routine and he can spend time with his wife, children, six grandkids, and his cat, Nikki. Next, why NCIS can't afford to lose Donald Ducky Mallard. David McCallum turned 88 last year, and while that hasn't decreased his appetite for the show, it does put a few question marks over his future with NCIS. He's a gem of an actor, and the character he plays is adored by fans and cast members alike. Despite the reduced number of appearances, Ducky holds the show together as we've all grown to admire his quirky character. One of our favorite bits is when Ducky interacts with the dead while performing autopsies, and it gives us an insight into how tough it is to become a medical examiner. The fans love his eccentric collection of bow ties, which go well with his character. They say a joke isn't funny when it's repeated so many times, but we could watch Ducky's one-sided conversations with the dead getting interrupted by Gibbs' unannounced arrivals in the room, not to mention the backstory of Ducky that was eventually revealed as we continue to admire the brilliance of the writing. Ducky's character is an underrated development in the show and remains a crucial element behind the incredible success of the show. For example, the way it's revealed that Ducky has actually been charged with war crimes in Afghanistan due to his association in the 1980s with an evil interrogator of the CIA. All of this simply points to the fact that NCIS can't afford to lose two diverse characters that have kept the show together for a long time. Gibbs's exit was already a big blow and the show is still recovering from it. And if McCallum was to leave the show, there's a decent chance that the show just might lose its incredibly loyal audience. For the time being, fans can live with the news that McCallum won't be quitting because he's enjoying his limited role in the show. After all, it's fine as long as he keeps on appearing in the show. Although we should never rule out a potential exit, given McCallum's age, as the actor might just decide to retire once and for all. Now, the perfect farewell. Ducky's character already has a strong legacy. If or when the character does decide to call it a day, it will be a sad day not just for NCIS, but also for TV shows in general. So far, NCIS has managed to execute one of the best exits with Gibbs' farewell. It was well received by the fans, although they're still getting used to watching NCIS without Gibbs being around. This isn't to say that Gary Cole's Agent Parker's a bad replacement, but it will take a bit of time for us to adjust. Sooner or later, the examination of dead bodies has to take its toll, even if it's just on television. The fans hope that if Ducky does decide to leave, he's given a proper farewell. It will be interesting to see how the writers manage to write him out of the story, and it won't be an easy thing to do. Surely, it'll require a guest appearance from Gibbs, as Mark Harmon wouldn't mind coming back for one last dance with his long-term on-screen friend. We have no doubts that the brilliant minds that have continued to surprise us and keep us interested in the show will ensure that Ducky gets the farewell he deserves. It was a good move in hindsight to give Ducky a less taxing role. That way, they didn't have to write him out of the show immediately following his retirement from being a medical examiner. We aren't complaining. It gives us more of Ducky, albeit in a limited role. And as fans, we just hope to continue seeing him on NCIS. Up next, Los Angeles and NCIS, Hawaii renewed by CBS. It was revealed a few days ago by CBS that the fan favorite NCIS franchise was being renewed for the 2022-23 broadcast season. This is great news as NCIS will have its 20th season and tie Gunsmoke as the third longest running US primetime drama series. It's an incredible achievement to say the least. And as fans that have grown up watching and loving the series, it's great to see it around 
around for at least a couple of more years. The transition of NCIS's main character from Mark Harmon to Gary Cole has definitely been a success. This showcases just how big of a success 2022 was for NCIS, and the crossover episodes were so well received by fans. It will be great seeing them on screen for another two years. Any doubts over the success of the show were eradicated following Mark Harmon's exit, as the show was the most watched broadcast, with 11 million viewers and over 95 billion social media impressions. Mark Harmon remains the executive producer and could yet make a return on the show. NCIS Los Angeles was also renewed for its 14th season, and NCIS Hawaii was given a second season as well. The 300th episode of NCIS Los Angeles is set to air in May, with Chris O'Donnell, LL Cool J, Linda Hunt, and Daniela Rush all expected to return alongside others. Similarly, NCIS Hawaii was also extremely well received by fans. It became the most watched new drama, bringing in over 8 million viewers and improving the 10 p.m. time slot by more than 25%. Alex Tarrant, Vanessa Lackey, Noah Mills, and many others star in a talented cast full of a lot of immense potential, and the show is expected to bring even more success in years to come. Now, what can we expect from the season finale of NCIS? May 23rd is approaching fast, and we simply can't wait for the season finale of NCIS. The supervisory special agent Parker has made a great impression on fans and cast members, and his team has been up to many different challenges so far. We know all of you are clutching at straws to find something new about the finale, and we don't blame you. Katrina Law, who plays Special Agent Jessica Knight, was kind enough to reveal some details about the season finale, and that has definitely excited us. Talking to TV Line, she said that she will have a stunt double for the season finale. Now, we don't know a lot about the storyline of the much-awaited season finale, but we do know that having a stunt double is an exciting thing because it promises a lot of action. However, like the rest of us, Katrina Law doesn't know anything else about the finale and mentioned that even she isn't told anything about the storyline. That's above my pay grade. They don't tell me anything, added Katrina. Hmm, we don't necessarily believe that, but given that we rarely get any spoilers from the cast members, it's probably true, as the NCIS writers know how to cook up a nice surprise. We saw some departures this season, with Maria Bello and Emily Wickersham joining veteran Mark Harmon. It remains to be seen how NCIS ends the season, as it already has been renewed for a 20th season next year, so it could well be a cliffhanger ending that we're not ready for. That's a wrap for this video. Do you have any questions about Ducky's character or NCIS? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.